The role of constructors in making games. Now let's create a folder. Let's give a name to the folder. Now open this folder in your text editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use anything. Now let's create our basic HTML file and our main JS file. Here we go, the basic HTML body. Here, here it comes. Okay, let's give a name, name to the title, and let's let's create our canvas. If you don't know what is canvas, there's a link in description and go and check it. Okay, we linked our JS file in HTML and let's work in this main main main.js. Where canvas is equal to document.quai selector. We are grabbing the canvas element with you by using this quai selector. Canvas, okay. Now let's let's write our context. Where C is equal to canvas.getContext2D. Okay, what oh man, I forgot to put equal to sign there. Okay, let's put the equal to sign. Okay, everything is fine. Now, now let's give some width and height to our canvas using canvas dot width is equal to window dot inner width. It use the whole width and whole height. Canvas dot height is equal to window dot inner height. Okay, let's save this. Now let me show this canvas in console. Let me open my Google. Open the folder which you created. Double double tap on index.html. We can't see anything because it is invisible. We have to open our console to see this. Control Shift plus I. Here, here it comes. The console. You just type canvas. You can see the whole blue color is called canvas. Now we can draw anything, any 2D stuff here by using our context. Let us say if we want to make a game, we need player. So let's give blue color to our player and it is a box of course and it should move it should have moving ability now let's create our let's create our player using filtrec method which is in context our context is C it takes four parameters X Y width height X and Y defines the position of the player and width and height you know we have to give some width and height to our player where x is equal to 100 and y is equal to 100 it is the position now let's give some width to our player which is equal to say 50 and height is equal to 50 now let's give blue color to our play using fill style method c dot fill style equal to blue that's it now let's run this click on refresh here we go, our player in blue color, nice and sweet. Our player is not moving now, so we have to move and move our box. Function, let's create function, move, right. Okay, curly basis, x plus plus. We are incrementing x value for every frame. Now we need a loop to animate our player so we are creating a function animate. In this function we are using request animation frame. You should call this method whenever you are ready to update your animation on screen. So we call our function animate and our we call our move our function in animate and here it goes it's it's going right but it's not it's not good so so we should clear the canvas whenever the player is moving to right. 
so we are using our clear rect method here clear rect method clears the specified pixels within a given rectangle now let's see in chrome oh it's moving pretty good now this method takes four parameters x y width height here the canvas itself a rectangle now let's create enemy this enemy taking red color this is also a box and it should also move so now how can we do this we can just copy the whole code and and change the variable names it works fine but we are rewriting the code again and again it, we should not write the code like that so we are using constructor constructor is nothing but a function but it is considered good practice to name constructor functions with an uppercase first letter box here we go as our plate and enemy are both the box so we are commonly taking one box and we will produce two boxes from one box this common box is nothing but a blueprint to create so many objects our plate and our enemy is our objects our both player and enemy have different x and y and different color so we are passing them passing them as parameters but they have same same width and height so we no need to put the width and height in in arguments this dot x equal to x this dot y equal to y this dot color equal to color this dot width equal to 50 and this dot height equal to 50 so i think you guys understand there this is this is how we write a function in constructor this dot move r is equal to x plus plus we are incrementing the x value i think you are confusing about this this is a keyword the value of this will become the new object when a new object is created well we, you will understand in a couple of minutes don't worry about this now <laughs> okay yes we are rewriting the code which we write few few minutes ago we wrote a function to move our object and we are filling a style and we are clearing the rect you guys know what if we don't put we don't put clear rect now we are creating our first object is player from box constructor which is a blueprint i told you this blueprint this augment stake parameters x y and color x is 100 y is 100 and color is blue that's it and now we are calling move right function in animate animate just we did before and it's working fine now just like before now we can we can now see in the console player is object so let's talk about this now this is taking the x value this dot x is x which we gave in players arguments now we can create so many so many boxes with one single line of code where enemy is equal to which is a new box with different x and y and color x is 300 y is 100 and which is box is in red color our enemy is in red color now let's call a move right function now so our enemy also moving right and our player player also moving right with only a few lines of code we did this but without the constructor we have to copy and paste same thing again twice so we should not do like that so we created a constructor now we can create so many enemies like this where enemy is enemy 2 and it is also a box let's let's give a different exposition 500 let's give 100 and 200 and it is it should be it should be in green color let's call move right function to this enemy 2 enemy 2 dot move left and this enemy should move left we, easy we can we can define another function in constructor move left x minus minus now this give this this piece of code gives us this green box will move in left direction the same code we are writing we'll write this dot x comma this dot y comma this dot weight comma this dot height the same thing we are writing nothing 
nothing different nothing odd so now see green enemy move left red enemy and blue player are moving towards right now let me type player in console objects of the same type are created by calling the constructor function with new keyword i think you guys understand now go to our discord and join the discussion like this video subscribe and ring the notification bell god is out